Hello and welcome Rams fans to the week two edition of the Rams pre-match report. The Rams are here at the Dana-Farber Fieldhouse in Foxborough, Massachusetts, where they get ready for a very busy weekend. They played two matches back-to-back -back against the Montreal Impact U23 team and the Westchester Flames. After opening the season with a bang, the Rams fixture list picks up rapidly. They will play their first of two back-to-back -back sets this weekend at Veterans Stadium in Quincy. With the Montreal Impact U23 team up first, Zico Lewis is hoping for a quick and painless match. I think it's going to be a test, obviously, but it's just a matter of how we play against Montreal. If we play, if we keep the ball a lot, like that's the only thing we can do. Like We can't force a quick game because if we force a quick game, we're just going to be running all game. So we just got to slow it down and play our game as we go along. The training sessions this week aim to continue the progress of team chemistry. The Rams practice a lot of interplay, and Dominic Machado believes the team is in a positive place going into the weekend. We have a positive mindset right now. Uh, after the, the win this past weekend, we're feeling good about uh, going, in, going into Saturday playing Montreal. Um, we know that they're going to be fit, so we're going to hopefully let our play technically, technically we're going to uh, do well. I think we're going to do well versus them. This weekend marks the end of the opening home stand for the Rams, so the two matches will be crucial to starting 2014 off right. Now here's the weekly conversation with Rams head coach Hobie Hare. He will have a lot to balance this weekend with two matches on the docket. To start off with, how do you take the momentum from last week's game and into this week? Um, well, I, I, you'd like to say it's always week to week. Um, it always is obviously a positive to get the W, so the guys feel good about that. Um, we are minus a lot of bodies because it is Memorial Day weekend, and some of the guys we've picked up or signed had previous engagements. So it's going to be a little challenge, I think, for the roster uh, extended over the weekend. Uh, but the momentum is always positive. Um, we definitely want to get off on the right foot because Montreal is going to be a very good team. Um, if not one of the best teams in the PDL, I think they will be. They're preparing themselves to go pro for next year, so they're going to have a lot of very talented guys and uh, it, should be, it should be a good contest. It'll be fun. With the two games back-to-back, -back, what is the general plan of managing your team's fitness? Uh, it's a good question because we really do have to balance out right the roster to make sure that the level doesn't go down and, and the guys are staying fit. Um, it's you know less than 24 hours basically to play the next game. It is a challenge, especially with the kids these this age. Um, they do need to have recovery. Um, it's they're not young young boys who are just running around having a great time. These guys do have to take it seriously. So having the proper nutrition right and and obviously diet for the weekend is important. But other than that, managing minutes is going to be difficult, and we're going to have to probably move a lot of pieces around the field, especially for Sunday. So this will be the first time that the Rams are actually playing an MLS Academy team. What, how do you prepare your team for this kind of match? Well, I think you, you, you just, look, it's, it's going to have to be a wait and see, absolutely, because I don't know what they have. I don't know what their roster is. Um, from the academy side with the U18s, obviously we play Montreal twice a year, um, and they're always very good. Uh, I think they're very good, um, certainly at home. They're outstanding. And then on the road, you never know sometimes um, if those guys can come out of the country and things of that nature. You don't know what you're going to get sometimes with Montreal. But uh, I, I have a feeling this team will be very strong and it'll be very good. And it's going to be a really good test for these boys, and they really need to step up and play and, and show what they're worth. And, and I think They'll do a good job. I really do. Well, that will do it for this week's edition of the Rams Pre-Match Report. Be sure to check out our Real Boston Rams Facebook page and follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Real Boston Rams. We will once again have a broadcast for you on YouTube.com, so be sure to check out our YouTube channel at YouTube.com slash Real Boston Rams. For all of us at the Rams, I'm Davis Van Opdorp. Thanks for watching.